Hi guys, I hope you all are doing super good. Please stay safe and yeah, watch my videos. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I want to sit down and share something really important with you babies because this is really something I wanted to share from quite some time but I was waiting for this day because today I was going to be traveling somewhere with my mother and um, it was an amazing trip which I planned for her 60th birthday back in November and uh, you can see how the situation is right now. So because of that we did cancel our trip and uh, it's a sad thing but I feel whatever happens happens for the good and uh, today we were going to be traveling to Tokyo. Uh, yes, we were going to be going to Tokyo today guys back in november we were planning where to go for my mom's 60th birthday which is on april 17th so we were deciding different places i thought wanted to go back to japan only because japan is so good babies so like you know it was japan on my mind but mom was a little skeptical because we need to walk there quite a bit language is a big barrier and it was a tough decision to go back again and she was like not so excited about it uh, but the thing is she always wanted to experience cherry blossom and wisteria so i was like why not go for it especially for the 60th birthday but she was just not agreeing to which i convinced her let's go for it that was the main main reason i was studying japanese guys because i wanted to roam around there freely without any language barrier so that my mom also was comfortable we didn't have to get lost we didn't have to do anything out of the way if I knew the language that was the main reason I started learning Japanese but later on of course I came to know that there is amazing benefits of learning Japanese but the main reason I want to learn Japanese was because I was going to Japan so we planned this amazing trip to Tokyo and we had an amazing itinerary to visit on her birthday and the places to eat of course because I'm all about what to eat <laughs> so we were really really excited about this trip this trip was really really super great for us guys uh, it was in the peak season we uh this is a peak season in Japan for especially cherry blossom and wisteria would just begin. We didn't want to visit Tokyo when it was the golden week because it's extremely crowded. So we chose this time wisely and of course we would experience wisteria and cherry blossom. Usse jada like what more do we want guys? And I got this amazing Airbnb property after loads of searching and searching and searching with an amazing host too. So um, if you want to know which Airbnb property I booked and then cancelled, please check it in the description box. We did plan in November and then by the time you know this whole phase began, we decided we should not be going because of course it's quite risky especially for my mom. So we decided to cancel the trip and uh, by the time we decided to cancel Airbnb, in their Airbnb policy, Japan was not included for complete refund. We were getting only 50% refund. So I spoke to the host and they were so good guys. They decided to give me full refund. There's a big reason why I love Japan guys. Japan too is very good only and Japanese are super super good guys. Really. They agreed to give a full refund back. But by the time I was going to cancel the trip eventually, Japan already came into the list of the policy wherein I was going to get full refund. So anyways, I was going to get full refund. But the host was so kind enough to give me full refund. So it was really good. Then I was flying all Nippon Airways. Uh, of course, that's one of the best. And uh, I'm waiting for that refund that's not yet come that will come after the lockdown maybe because uh, my, I, I didn't book that my agent did that but next time I will do it myself because all Nippon Airways website has a lot of offers guys so next time I'm going to be checking the website for their offers and I'm very happy actually because it was Japan and they're giving full refund back even all Nippon Airways so uh, lucky me I don't know about the other countries and if you guys have gone through any losses during this phase uh, please let me know as to which country you were traveling and 
how much losses like luckily touch wood we didn't we haven't occurred any losses as such airbnb gave me the full refund back and now i'm waiting from all nippon airways and i'm sure i'm gonna get full refund from them too and that's how this trip got cancelled and i'm really fine with it as of now because i saw many other youtubers when this uh, phase was so serious they have been roaming around and uh, taking pictures and they were so insensitive towards the situation so i feel very good about myself that we took this decision at the right time to not only save ourselves but even save others too so it's uh, something really wise we did this time unlike many others who were happily doing many other things which was not right so um, i'm really happy about what we did and whatever happens happens for the good and uh, mom 60th birthday is going to be a little thakela during this phase but it's okay we will do something later on in life but this was my trip planned and I really wanted to share this with you all. Like we planned this amazing trip to Japan which got cancelled. If you want to know more about how we went about booking our flight tickets and Airbnb and everything, please let me know in the comments below. Then if I get motivated with your comments, I will make a separate video as to how did I plan my Japan trip because of course it takes a lot of mana. I I do I do a lot of research, guys, like hardcore because I've taken into consideration that my mom's also there i just can't stay here or there i need to stay in a proper place and uh, there's lots which i take into consideration and i go ahead with the bookings and i take a lot of manat i have more knowledge than some of the travel agents actually with regards to japan or any other country which i've already traveled so uh, if you want to know anything as such please let me know in the comments below i'll make a separate video as to how to plan your japan trip or any other trip whichever you want just let me know if i get motivated enough then i'll definitely make a video on that so that's what i wanted to share with you guys please take care and uh, stay healthy see to that you keep your parents at home even if they're stubborn just let them stay at home and look after your siblings too and everyone eat healthy drink healthy exercise and let me know how do you spend your day like what do you guys do as of now i uh, am like uh, stuck with studying japanese a little bit i'm not still doing it very hardcore before canceling the trip of course i was studying quite a bit but after that i've not been studying so much but then i had to slog my uh, bum for <laughs> hiragana especially and japanese is such an amazing language guys uh, it's so beautiful it's so good it's so pure it's so it's supposed to be very tough but for me uh, it's 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 really good like maybe just because i love everything about japan so i love this language it's so good and um, that's all i wanted to share guys um like like my mom still feels so sad like she's like now we'll be in the flight right now we'll be taking off right now we'll be boarding and all that like she's still thinking about it but i personally feel whatever happens happens for the good and uh, you never know what's gonna happen once you go there so i'm taking it very positively like everything happened so the good and we didn't occur any losses that way everything went very peacefully thank you jesus and uh, I'm so happy about this and I wanted to share this one quite some time but I thought today is the day to share because today is the day we were going to be traveling and tomorrow we'll be reaching Japan, Tokyo and yeah guys you don't know how much I noted down like the places I had to hog uh, some other time <laughs> I opened this birth again so yeah I hope you like this video bye